In the summer of 1958, the murders that would come to be known as the Bloodless Murders or the Dracula Murders swept through the Midwest, beginning in Nebraska and sawing through Iowa and Wisconsin before turning back to Black Deer Falls, Minnesota. Before it was over, the murders would claim the lives of 17 people of different ages and backgrounds. All would be discovered with similar wounds, their throats slit or their wrists cut. A few sustained deep cuts to the inner thigh. Each of the victims died from blood loss, yet each of the crime scenes was suspiciously clean of blood. Except for the last. Whoa. I know. Intense. It's a lot. Spooky and bloody. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm a true crime enthusiast and budding web sleuth. And I'm Michael. You might recognize me from Epic Reads, where I normally talk about books, but my interests took a turn in the past year to solving murder. So I teamed up with Sarah to solve this case. That's right. Today we're discussing the dark and dirty details of the gruesome bloodless murders. Tell me more. Well, when I first heard about this case, I was just so fascinated because all the victims were completely drained of blood. You know how hard that is to do? I don't, personally. And that's a lot of blood. You gotta put in work to make that happen. So we had to ask, were there supernatural forces at play? 911, what's your emergency? They're all, they're all dead. Who's dead? All of them, the whole family. There's no blood. There's no blood at the crime scene? No, there's no blood anywhere. The case was extremely shocking, and I should know. I did write the book on it. Kendara Blake, resident expert on the case, offered us these insights. All of these bodies, 17 victims, died of blood loss, and yet there's no blood found at the crime scenes? How is that even possible? But what was even more of a question was the girl. 15 years old, five foot four. It was hard to imagine that she did it at all let alone that she did it without help. So as for whether there were supernatural forces at play, yeah, I think we were all wondering that. Marie Catherine Hale, 15 years old and the only witness found at the scene of the final murder. But before you assume she did it, consider this. She's a child. How could this child have murdered 17 people completely drained of all of their bodily fluids with no help before anyone found her? That is a disturbingly accomplished 15 year old. Right, most 15 year olds don't even have like a college major picked out. I was just trying to figure out my lunch order. Exactly. And not figure out how to drain bodies entirely of blood. There's no way she could have done it by herself unless she had an accomplice or somewhere to put the blood where no one would ever find it. You mean like drinking? Yeah, I'm thinking like vampires. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. The other strange thing is that there were 17 murders in total, but Marie was only found at the final crime scene, that of the Carlsons in Black Deer Falls, a family of four. And though yes, they were drained of blood, like in all other cases, this time it wasn't missing because Marie was drenched in it. Marie! So messy, Mar Marie. <laughs> Why did she let herself be found this time? Why go through all the trouble to dispose of all the blood in every other murder only to be found in it, literally in it, yep. this time? Was this some kind of final act in hope of being discovered? Or did someone else play a role in the earlier murders? Making things more confusing for local authorities, Marie would only talk to one person in the whole town, Michael. Yeah? No, Michael Jensen. Sorry, different Michael. He's the sheriff's son and the only person she'll talk to. Not me, but good name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael Jensen is this young wannabe reporter who starts investigating the murders. I don't know, for... After school activity, extra credit, you never sure. know. Yeah. yeah. And for whatever reason, Marie trusts him, so he's the only person she'll talk to now. Which means all the information that comes out about the case... It's from her. So, like, very one-sided. Yeah, probably a little bit of confirmation bias there. Yeah. yeah. Also doesn't help that people start thinking Michael has a crush on Marie. Ooh. I know. Calling for the it's juicy. presumed murderer. 
never fall in love with the serial killer. So you have a young petite girl drenched in blood right. at the final crime scene, absolutely drenched in it. Mm -hmm. A string of similar murders across the Midwest, a nation that wants answers, and a high school reporter, the only source of information. Yeah. We're left with questions. Who killed the Carlsons? If it was Marie, did she have an accomplice? And where did the blood go all those other times? We don't know. We don't know because even though Michael meant well, he really wants to do right by this case and right by his, his potential prom date love Marie. Interest. And when you start bringing up supernatural forces. Surprisingly, not everyone believes in vampires. Believe it or not. Yeah. It's not the most credible <laughs> argument to make. It's not a good look. But what is the other answer for all of the blood missing? I mean, it makes sense, right? Following the evidence. And people love vampires in theory. Just when you start pushing it as a legitimate explanation when 17 people are dead and survivors want justice, you start to sound a little crazy. But if it is so crazy, then you tell me. Where did the blood go? Maybe somebody drank it. Maybe it was Marie. Maybe it was her accomplice. Honestly, we may never know. After a lengthy investigation, the mystery of the bloodless murders remains just that, with the only people who could shed any light on the situation being the victims. Bloodless and buried. To learn more about this case, you can pick up your copy of All These Bodies by Kendara Blake and uncover the mystery for yourself. I feel like we did something. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, we murder. should do this again we sometime. Kind of solved it, yeah. 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 Oh. Well, I'm Sarah. <laughs> and I'm Michael. And this was Epic Grades Investigates. A murder. 17 of them. <laughs>